Boom, what's going on guys, my name's Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to edit using Shotcut in 2018. Boom, yes, so welcome back to the video. If you are brand new to this channel, I'm Jack. I produce weekly content based around video production, whether it be video editing, videography slash filming, or how to make money making videos and sharing all the ways that I'm making money making videos on a weekly, daily basis, literally how the way, you know, all, all the ways I basically turned my passion, which is video production, into a full-time job and giving all those different tips and tricks away to you guys. But today's specific topic is gonna be how to edit using Shotcut and Shotcut I hold a special place in my heart for Shotcut <laughs> because I think it is, uh, I think it's hands down one of the best free video editing softwares out there that aren't trying to kind of get you into the program on the kind of basis that it's free, but then you edit a whole project and have to export and there's a fucking watermark on it. I, trust me, that's a big annoyance, you know what I mean? I share your pain if that's ever happened to you. By all means, today we're gonna be jumping into Shotcut and why, you know what I mean, why I think it's just one of the best free video editing softwares because there's no bullshit to it. It's nice, smooth, simple. Uh, HitFilm Express probably is a better video editing software and it's, and it's also free. However, it's super laggy. Not everyone can use it. Overall, Shotcut is available for any operating system, Mac, Windows, Linux, anything, and it is really nice, smooth, and quick, which is super important. Honestly, you could fully lose motivation uh, you know, on a project if things are super laggy and it makes you not even want to edit anymore. This, 100% not like that. Completely smooth, no bullshit lag. Without further ado, let's gonna get into the how to edit your videos, guys, using Shotcut in 2018. All right, guys, so when you actually load up Shotcut, it's gonna look like this. I want to direct you guys to the playlist of these three right here. Export is obviously exporting. Filters is code for effects, and playlist is code for, uh, you know what I mean, where you would actually keep all your footage. Um, and essentially, you know what I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, the majority of your navigation is gonna go between, um, you know, here, which is your preview, here, which is your timeline, here, which is your playlist, uh, you know, and then also the filters, which we're gonna get to next. But when you go to playlist to import some clips, let's just go ahead and click plus and uh, um, boop, 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 boop. for some reason, it's uh, not letting me click the plus. So in fact, I'm actually just going to um, hold tight, just mess that up, drag that back down there, put the playlist back in with those guys. Oh my God, God damn it. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I'm actually just gonna drag and drop the files since for some reason, it's not letting me uh, import stuff there. It's all good though. I've got all my files over here. I'm simply gonna load this up and uh, and drag them in. By the way, guys, if you want to follow through 100% with me, you can download all these files down below in the description and we could literally piece together the exact same thing. But I'm gonna do this very quickly by all means. Um, I'm not actually gonna bring this one here. Eh, ooh, 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 screw it. All right, I'm gonna drag all my clips into here. Wait for it, it'll take a second, obviously. And uh, now that all the clips are here, you can see we can start previewing them right here. However, um, we could do the preview. In fact, we could even do a preview to get this to a point where we're walking up uh, the hill, and then I could actually trim this down so that this, this clip is only gonna start right here when we're, tr when we're walking up the, uh, the hill. So I can now drag this down here to my timeline, and it's obviously gonna create a brand new video layer. Now if I actually scroll across in this clip, um, I just want to find a good place to start. Hold tight, guys. Quickly, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna run through creating a basic sequence, right? So, boom. Obviously, I'm just trimming things down. Um, I like that. That's nice. Um, now we're gonna bring the other thing. I'm just gonna create a basic sequence with us uh, and basically trim this whole thing down. Let's bring this over here. Okay. If you guys press S, by the way, that's gonna be split. So it's actually gonna split everything right down the middle. Now I'm actually just kind of playing this to see to see what we can do. Boom, I'm gonna split that again right there. Bring this next clip in. This next clip is actually really funny, to be honest, because it's me and my homie trying to jump up onto the castle, and here he goes. I think he's about to I think he's about to hit his head on it. Hold on, let's have a look. Let's, let's replay. Boom, he smacked his head, and then I, <laughs> then I go first try. Let's watch it, hold tight. Boom, yep, there we go. Now I'm up first try. Um, wait till I just get up a little bit. All right, cool, split that there. We'll drag the next clip in. Boom, this is gonna be a nice overview of everything. Let's go ahead and just drag that across again. Boom, now let's have a whole big pan shot of what's going on. Oh, you see when those birds come. Boom, gonna chop that there. Again, guys, we are nicely making decent, 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 uh, decent 
length with, with, with this right now, with decent progress rather. And you can see now that overview of the castle is looking absolutely amazing. I'm gonna cut that right there. Boom, and now we can actually have the zooming out shot of my friend, which in fact, we can actually do some effects to this later on and actually increase the speed, etc. so that we can kind of do a cool uh, moving shot. I'm gonna cut that to when it actually starts going up. Oh, let's bring this along a little bit. Go ahead and just cut it. Boom, drag it along. And now let's just finally complete this with a few cool clips that are just going to be of the sun. Boom, cut that there, drag that along, give it a play. Boom, very nice shot right there. Wow, very nice shot. Keep doing a few more nice drone shots that we could just throw in, just, just basically with some pretty footage or whatever. Let's have a look. Boom, looks like I'm starting to do a cool movement there. Do 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 do, give this drone a, a play. Very nice of the sunset. We went here at golden hour, so obviously, Everything was looking nice and smooth. Um, really beautiful lighting, honestly. Um, and we're on the final two shots right now. Hold tight, this, this shot here might be kind of trash. I'm not too sure. Actually, it's not even too trash. It's us, right there. Boom, just gonna drag that across. Now if I give this a play, obviously it's going straight over us. In fact, I might even chop that there and have it playing like that, boom, boom, boom. Keep playing. <laughs> the homie's flipping off the drone. Boom. And it's about to be our final shot right now, guys. Let's actually give this a play. Uh, I think we can actually do this over here. Boom. Yep. Just kind of coming the other way. And we've actually created a decent sequence out of this. Boom. So it's about to reveal the town. Wow. That looks amazing. If we give this a cut right here. Boom. We have successfully succeeded in creating a sequence, guys, that is about a minute and 20 seconds now. This obviously looks quite plain. We want to do more to it now. So boom, once we've created a rough sequence like that, we want to go over to filters. Actually, just go ahead and pl cl uh, click plus and let's go to color grading. Now, um, the presets are stuff that you would actually save. So if you guys start tweaking stuff, you can actually save a preset uh, and you know what I mean? Bring that in later. So for example, if we wanted to create a preset, we would literally just start bringing stuff around okay so we would yes just start playing with stuff so let's actually just go ahead and select our clip here and genuinely just start messing with stuff okay so um you know what i mean if you're not really too sure about these wheels obviously the uh, shadows left is going to be a little bit of tint the uh, mid-tones gamma is essentially the majority of, of of the color in it and then the highlights are again just emphasizing uh the kind of highlighted bit so in the middle everything is just neutral what would make this pop, I think, would be some kind of nice bluish tint to it. Like a, a bit of a darker blue. As you can see right there, that, uh, that blue has a tendency um, to actually not just start looking pretty trash, which a lot of stuff does, but actually just start bringing stuff out in a nice complementary way. But a nice thing to do is with the color correction, when we go one way with the midtones and the gamma, we could actually go the opposite way with the highlights, creating that kind of reddish sky, but bluey kind of um, uh, grass and bluey kind of shadows. That right there is obviously creating a very nice effect. And if we give this a play, it's looking very kind of eerie, much nicer than for example, when we unticked it, it's looking very plain. And just with that simple color correction layer, we have actually created a, a much more dynamic feeling uh, shot. We can actually, uh, we should be able to now just go ahead and click save on that. Um, and actually, boom, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Uh, copy filters rather, boom, go ahead and copy that filter. And now we can actually go to the next play, place here and click paste that filter. The next page, paste that filter. The next page, paste that filter. Next clip, paste that filter. Final, uh, next clip, paste that filter. Next clip, paste that filter. Next clip, paste that filter. <laughs> um, and the final clip, paste that filter as well. And uh, oh, is that the final clip? No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna drag this one over. Go ahead and just paste that there. Um, and essentially this we, we definitely achieved in making a much nicer color correction right away You can see that that clip especially making it so much more eerie bringing things out so much nicer in this clip here However, I want to make it faster. All right Obviously all you have to do is go up here to properties guys hit the speed and actually just go ahead and start putting that up So obviously here we probably want to change the speed to like four times Yeah, screw it four times and just like that, it is cut it down to uh, make it, you know what I mean, fit into four times. Now we just wanna 
actually just go ahead and highlight all these clips. Just go ahead and drag that one over, drag this one over. Oh, boom, drag this one over here. Boom, drag this one over here. Oh, my bad, drag that one over there. Nice. And just like that, guys, we have added a beautiful color correction, a nice speed up to some of the clips. And also, we have um, just pieced together a nice sequence. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and click export. Very, very simple. All we want to do is go ahead and just select a, a, a file type to export as. Obviously, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, select WMV. Very simple. Uh, I'm on Windows right now, so it may as well. And I'm just gonna click export file. Boom. I'm just gonna go ahead and navigate my way to. Hold on. My uh, kind of sample place. Sample drone. 2018. Boom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click export. Oh, is that exporting? Where you at? Yeah. All right, my bad. <laughs> Boom, and it's exporting over here. Um, and uh, now we just gotta wait. I'm gonna wait for this to export, guys, and we're gonna come back and actually watch through our particular video that's actually complete. I'm gonna go fill up my water quick, though. I'm back, filled up the water. We got 7% to go, 6% to go, 5%, four, whoa, okay, whoa. <laughs> that went quick, that, that last 5% did go quick. Now we're gonna pop this on full. The sample drone 2018 is right here. Boom, just like that, we have created a dope file. Uh, it definitely uh, decreased the quality a bit. I think I just didn't mess around with actually finding uh, the, the best uh, bit rate and everything, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it looks a tiny bit, a tiny bit worse, but overall the color correction itself is making this look so much more dynamic, so much more cinematic. Look at that, look at that light array right here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Overall, this was a nice little miniature edit that we did together. It's decent, definitely didn't take us very long, obviously, if we, if we spent a bunch longer on it, uh, if we spent a bunch longer on it, the quality would have improved massively. But that's pretty cool right there. As you can see, this shot right here is looking golden. That looks amazing. Boom, that shot's pretty cool and sped up. But overall, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. For more video production themed content every single week. Overall, this did turn out to be a little bit low quality. That was definitely due to the fact that I didn't really try and find the best render settings just then. Definitely get some better render settings. In fact, if I go back to the program right now, uh, the best render settings to probably use would be a lossless H.264. Boom, if I actually select that and export again. Exp, just call it exp, fuck it. I'm gonna leave that now. And uh, I'd imagine it's gonna take a lot longer to actually export this. Yeah, it's definitely taken much longer and it's gonna be much better quality. So my bad, I should have done that. 100% correct from the start and done an mp4 instead of a WMV, but boom. Thank you for watching the video guys If you enjoyed like comment subscribe for more video production themed content have a have a nice day Hell yeah, definitely enjoy your day. I'm gonna go have a nice day as well. In fact, it's a nice sunny day I'm gonna go enjoy myself. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye <laughs>